Hey guys, so today's video is about how to apply press on nails properly. And shout out to Olivia, who is my first, or who is the first person to order my press on nails. So, and she's also my client. So, thank you, Olivia, for always supporting. And so, yeah. Today's video is going to be about how to properly apply press on nails. Right, let's get straight to it. So, what you want to do is you want to first make sure that your nails are short. Your natural nails are as short. Take off all the polish and then make sure that they're, you know, nice and short. I they don't have to be square like mine. I just want them to be square. I would probably make them as short as possible and just round them off in the corner. I like them square because that's how I like to grow them out. And when I have gel polish on or anything, I just like square nails to be honest. So yeah. So here we go. This is my natural nail. And um, I did prep this nail before, but let me show you. These are the cuticle sticks that I provide in my press-on pack. They are amazing. But these ones you see, are rough here. So it's a bit like, you know when you go to the nail shop, right? And they go around your cuticles like this. I couldn't find my actual one, so I just put it on top of this. So anyway, I would literally go around the cuticles and go over the nail bed if I was literally in the salon. But I'm showing you how to put on press on nails at home. So what I would do is I would take this and I would first push back the cuticles like that. Now let me show you with my other finger because I did already, did already do this uh, earlier. And so this is what I would do. I would literally push these back push back the cuticles all around the nails it's not sharp at all it's just a little bit rough and not even overly rough right so now that I've pushed back the cuticles as you can see there's still uh, there's like lots of cuticle like dead cuticle dead skin on the nail plate which is this here, this is your nail bed or your nail plate. And so what you wanna do now, because it's rough, so you wanna use this and you wanna scrape off all of that crust off of your nail bed. And you wanna scrape it all off until it's nice and smooth. Now, obviously, this isn't as uh, rough or as, as good as doing it with an electric file, but I'm showing you how to do it at home. So these are the tools that you will have or should have. And if your kit that you bought doesn't have one of these rough ones, it's fine. Just push the cuticles back and then I'll show you what to do in your next step. So now that you've done that, you've cleaned it up around the nail bed, around the cuticle, I should say. Right, I have a little bit of gel left on this, but that's fine. Right, so this is that. And then you want to take your nail file, whichever nail file was supplied to you in your press-on pack. You want to take that and then you want to rough up the nail bed. Now I'm doing this very lightly. I know it might sound like it's very coarse, but it's not. It's very worn down, this nail file. And so I'm going to go around the cuticle and on the sides and over the nail bed, just making sure that everything's rough and all the shiny bits are taken off all the nails. And all the polish from my gel polish is off as well. I'm holding it like this. Can you see? And then, oh, actually, for more support, you can hold on to it like this. And then stroke. Oh, I know you 
can't see it. Hold on. Or you can hold it like this. Let's see. You can just move the file around to get the areas that you need to get. Okay, that looks rough to me. Now, there we go. Have a look. Now, I'm going to dust this off. And let's have a look properly. Now, if you don't have a dust duster, you can just literally <laughs> blow it. And then you'll be able to see what that prep was like. And I think that is pretty good for your press-on prep. Oh, a little bit more of crust in that corner. Let's get that off. Now, why? Why do we prep it like this? We prep it like this because the more cleaner the nail bed is, the more that it's going to adhere to the glue and to the tip, your press-on nail. These are my press-on nails that I did earlier. The focus is on, well, the inspiration is women, women's bodies and women in particular. It's women of color so black women anyway so that's the set of nails that i'm going to put on afterwards and yeah so this is the nail bed prepped right the next step is you're going to take the alcohol wipes that is provided i don't have my alcohol wipe so i'm going just to take a bit of tissue but you will have it in your press on pack and i'm going to take a bit of alcohol and then my tissue and I'm gonna wipe that nail bed clean. Wipe that clean. Right, so now this nail and this nail is prepped. Let that dry off. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tabs, your press on tabs. I, I know that this one fits this one perfectly. So, and what you would do is that you would size that up. Can you see? I know that this, as you can see, has loads of space on the side and on the back here near the cuticle and on that side. You don't want it to be too big, otherwise it's gonna to be too bulky for underneath. So just size it up and see whichever one fits. Now, as you know, press-ons, they are either made exactly to your size or either it's made, um, you have different sizes to choose from so what you would want to do before you apply these tabs is that you want to just measure it you want to just see if that size fits your nail you want to make sure that it's covering all of your nail when you press it down and it's not too big for your nail now if there isn't one that perfectly fits it's perfectly fine to just file a bit of the side now do that gently because um Press on nails, they're usually made with actual gel. They're not usually made with plastic. Well, luxury ones anyway. The plastic ones are for sets that are cheapy. <laughs> so, you want to be as gentle as possible and then just check it again. If that all looks great, that looks good to me. So what you want to do after that, take your tab. This is the one that fits me. Place it here press it down into the nail this has a plastic coat which is going to peel off in a second right if you want it to just for a couple of days or like one or two days then you can use it with just these tabs and you don't have to put glue on it and then you can keep on reusing these and you can just peel it off and then reapply it with these tabs or if you want to just do it with glue for a couple of weeks you can just put glue on a bit of glue on the nail bed cover up the nail bed very thinly with the glue like this put on the nail bed just very lightly and then you can turn the nail over put a bit of glue on the inside and then you can press it down and then stick it on or another option that you can do which i found out recently 
is that you can put this nail tab just on just how I've done it right now. And then you can put glue all on the inside, put it, make sure it's on the edges and it's not pouring out. So just put it on like fairly lightly, but make sure it's covering all on the inside. And then you put it on the nail, put it, put the tip down. I mean, put it near the cuticle first. So as you can see here, it's like, I've, it's not going down. And then you want to press it down. And then after that, as you can see, it's in the right place. And then you want to hold it. You want to hold it. And you can push it into the cuticles just a little bit. Make sure that it's not on the sides of your nails. And then you want to hold down the sides. And then here. And then let's hold it down as fast as much as you can for about 30 seconds until you've got a good grip. And then, voila, that is your press on nails. And that's it, prepped perfectly. And this will literally last you at least two weeks. And then you're good to go. And you're gonna have literally a perfect set of nails. That looks good to me. Lovely, I love that. Look at this woman's body. So yeah, that's how to apply press on nails at home. And just so you know how good this is stuck on, right? This is just with the this is just with the tabs that I've used. I haven't even put glue on it. Let me bring this box. Look at this. Look how good that sticks on. Look, I'm even denting the box and that's only with the glue tab. So imagine how much more secure it's gonna be with the actual glue on it as well. Sick. So good, so good. So yeah, if you want to order any press on nails by me, you can go to at my nail gang, which is M-A-I and then nail, and N A I L and then gang G A N G my nail gang and you can send me a DM and shoot me some orders okay lovely oh also what I forgot to say okay so you if you've ch chosen the tab or the the tab with glue or just the glue option this is one thing that you can do to make sure that it's stuck down properly. Right, you wanna turn it around and if you can see that there's a little, where is my, wait a second, point it out to you. And if you can see that there's a little gap in here, can you see, it's a gap that isn't glued down, which means I didn't put enough glue in there. What you want to do is, is that you want to take the glue and you want to drop some glue in here. Put, hold it back so it doesn't drip all over your fingers. And then you want to press it in. And that will include, that will make sure that you have perfect, no lift spots. If you put glue down here, then this will ensure that every area is nice and stuck to the nail bed properly and there's no gaps and areas for lifting and so yeah that is perfect application of press on nails cool now i'm really saying bye <laughs> see you later guys see you on the next video <laughs>